Hey collective, it's your girl here to do an energy read mm -hmm. because I feel like it and I sure do. And guess what? You get to watch. <laughs> confirmation <laughs> remember that time is fluid so whenever you see this message it's when you're meant to see it it's a general reading it may not resonate with everyone so please take what resonates and leave the rest okay 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 what we're gonna do here now where are we going with this guide me spirit uh, let's see that bit. okay I'm going to pull a few of these, a few of my oracle cards, and then we'll clarify with the modern witch tarot. How about that? How that sound? That sound good? Sounds like a plan? All right, Spirit, what's the message for the collector, please? Thank you. I see the devil's in the details. Boop. Mm -hmm. He's always in the details. He only pops up because he knows you're doing something that's worthy, something that's valuable. Um, he don't want to get past. Mm -hmm. we, ain't, no, we ain't letting him stop us, right, Spirit? No, sir. What's the message here for my collective? Uh-oh. What's the message for the collective? Somebody could have colored hair. Somebody could have changed their hair color. Somebody picking up spirit with the message. Like spring cleaning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trying to clean out the cobwebs and switch it up. Bring out the new spring stuff. Take down them heavy curtains and that. Put away those winter clothes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got you can learn a lot from a dummy. Hmm. Spring cleaning people, places, and things as well. <laughs> You can learn a lot from a dummy. So it's like you watch somebody, you know, you, you learn from their behavior, you know what I mean? Or you could watch somebody crash and burn and you can learn from that, you feeling me? You see somebody else go through it so you know what to <laughs> release from your own life, you know what I mean? You don't have to go through it, you watch somebody else go through it. You don't want to be, you know, you don't want to have to go through that, so like, hey. Cleaning it up. Mm -hmm. Spirit, what's the message? What we got here, we got an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I could be talking to. Take it how it resonates. Ooh, we got the mice got caught in the trap. All right. <sighs> hmm, I'm hearing the universe saying that that they're doing a spring cleaning as well. And we know spring just just open the door. Spring just open the door. Say, here I am. It's about time. I thought spring was never going to fight back. Because <laughs> I am ready. Earth sign, church, real Capricorn. So you can learn a lot from a dummy. About to see some things. I feel like the spring cleaning the unit is the universe's way. We know we're in Mercury retrograde, so... Um, look, know your worth. Yep. So a Taurus Virgo Capricorn needs to know their worth. Okay. Keep going. We need some more here, Spirit. What else? We need a little bit more. Anything else we can go on here before we clarify? Spirit said clarify each card. Okay, so let me change the layout here. Clarify each one. Her, we'll give you one more. Ooh, we that's all. Just one. <laughs> uh, look at this. Return the sender. That's the one more. Oh shoot. <laughs> look at look. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Pour into you too. But that was in. It don't matter. Pour into you too. Look, didn't I say you're gonna see somebody crash and burn? I can't make it up. And then it closes out. I knew it was. Yeah, pour into yourself as well. Don't just pour into other people. Mm, because you're going to learn a lot from somebody. Yeah. I could be talking to an earth sign. Something went return to send a baby boy, baby girl. Let's see what's going on here. We're going to clarify each card. Yeah, we'll see about that. 
<laughs> I heard clarify each one with a different deck. No, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. How many I got out here? I got five out here. We'll see. Let's see. Let's do spring cleaning. Let's move this over here. What's the spring cleaning? So this could be, all right, Spirit City, this could be five different messages. Take it how it resonates, okay? Thank you, Spirit. So this is for an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Spring cleaning. Well, you could be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. What's the spring cleaning, Spirit? The devil. Ooh, wee. Mm-mm-mm-mm. So didn't I tell you the devil was in the details? Okay, what's going on here, spirit? Spring cleaning, yep, time to clean some stuff out. Mm-hmm. What we got here? Ten of Wands. Things are a burden, yes. It's time to release, yep. It's time for you to release these burdens. Somebody can feel like that they're bound to a, a situation. Because these two people are bound to toxic energy, toxic situations, toxic... Um, environment, everything, everything. Somebody feels like it's time to let this shit go. This is a burden. Somebody could feel like they carry, they've been carrying up the whole relationship. Or somebody could feel like they're doing all the work at work, you know what I mean? Well, you know, somebody just feels bound. Maybe you can't, you feel like you can't leave a toxic, um, workplace because, you know, you got to pay your bills. You got a lot of bills, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of people that depend on you or whatever. You know, or this could be a relationship where you feel like, you know, you're carrying the weight. It's been a burden. You don't feel, you don't feel like, you know, it's, you're getting any positive, you know, results from the situation because you, you're always working. You're always trying to, to hold things together. And it's like, what about the other part of life, you know? That's the kind of, yeah, yeah somebody could feel bound. Somebody could feel like they, they have a ball and chain on, like they... They tied themselves to somebody that's toxic or tied themselves to a toxic lifestyle for sure. What's the spring cleaning spirit? Listen, family. Yep, somebody feel like they've been carrying the weight of, the, of, of family. And it's time to do some spring cleaning to release yourself for sure. Seven of Wands, yes. Very guided, very protected. You feel like you have to defend, you have to defend yourself when it comes to collaboration and you know, working together as a team, it's, it's like you always got pushback, I'm hearing. You're always getting pushback. People don't want to do this. They don't want to do that. But, you know, it's as if they know that if they say no, you're going to do it anyway because you don't want to fail. You know what I'm saying? You want to you wanna keep your, your stability, your shit together. And they know that. You know what I'm saying? They know that. Spring clean spirit. Ace of Cups. Mm. Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups, Unconditional Love. Mm. What's this Ace of Cups with the spring cleaning spirit? That's right on the devil, though. They're like, okay, so this could be people that you really love, you really have unconditional love for. That's why you stick around. That's why you stay. Hermit in reverse, yeah, that's why you stay. You see things for what it is, but you, you're just not doing anything. You've gone with them. Or you're not, or you're acting like you don't see it. You want to because how, because how you you know love. It's like you don't want to call people on their shit, and you don't want to have to remove yourself. I'm here because you you feel like they can't take care of themselves. Of course they can. They were smart enough to use you, and I'm pretty sure they're doing it with other people in their life. They'll be just fine. They'll bounce back. They'll 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 land on their feet <laughs> because they know how to manipulate you. They know how to get you to hold on. They can get somebody else to hold on, or or they're going to stand up and fly. Spirit, what's the spring cleaning? And I feel like there's something that you're not you're not willing to... What, with the hermit in reverse, you already know, but it's still, it's almost as if you want to turn a blind eye to it, okay? What's the spring cleaning, Spirit? What's the spring cleaning? <laughs> Damn it. The moon. Secrets. Hmm. There could be possibly be some secrets that I'm here. It could be hidden from you. Yeah. Oh, 
That's why the moon can... Yes, tower. Yep. Because you know what? There's something that's hidden from you that's about to be revealed. And when it is, you're going to... Yep. That's when you're going to get the courage and the strength to do what you need to do. That's what it is. That's when you're going to stop... Stop... Um, Looking at things through rose-colored glasses and, and open your eyes to see what's really going on. It's like you're refusing to do that. But it's about to come out anyway. Yep. All right. That's the spring cleaning. Okay. Now we got... You can learn a lot from a dummy. What are we going to use for this one, Spirit? Here we go. The light seers. Light seers. Appropriate. Appropriate. Let's see what's going on. You can learn a lot from a dummy. Who's this message for, Spirit? Please and thank you. So I could be talking to an Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, that's the only sign that came out. Spirit, what is you can learn a lot from a dummy? What's this message? Okay. We got here, we got judgment. We have the five of swords. Mm-hmm. And we got the death card. Death and rebirth. You can learn a lot from a dummy. Judgment. Something didn't go as planned. <laughs> yep, and it caused some kind of ending. It caused a death. Mm-hmm. Because someone called judgment. Mm-hmm. Or spirit called judgment. Take it high resume. You can learn a lot from a dummy. Somebody did something that didn't go in their favor, and they're confused as to why it didn't work. They can, they, I'm hearing... They're confused as to why you're not dead because you see this in the background? You see that blood? That's blood. Somebody tried to unalive you, and they're confused as to why what they try to do, you coming back to life. Or, well, you didn't never die, you know what I'm saying? But the death and rebirth is death and a rebirth. This isn't a final ending. You know what I'm saying? But that was what they expected. They expected it. So here we go. You can learn a lot from a dummy, and that's the truth. I can't make it up. That's the truth. That's the truth. They are confused. Yeah, they get. Yeah, they got a message that whatever uh, their messenger came and told them, whatever they did, it didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, I'm hearing. He is not there. He is risen. Spirit, what's going on? Yeah. You can learn a lot from this dummy. Mm-hmm. Mm. What is this spirit? Number 20 could be significant. 5, 13, 31. Spirit, what's this message? Somebody could have a brown leather jacket. With that distress, this distressed leather. That's the leather I'm, I'm, I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. Spirit, what's this message? Somebody could also have a red hoodie that they like to wear. Ooh-wee. Listen, they was under an illusion that you were not going to heal. They were trying to find a way. Ooh. Uh, uh, ooh. Instability, um, emotionally imbalanced. Somebody that wasn't connected to spirit, that didn't really have an identity and or know who they are. Somebody that that uh, still struggles from tra traumatic experiences. So this is like somebody wanted you to be traumatized, you know what I'm saying? Or constantly reliving trauma, never healing. Ooh, they wanted to end something for you. Look, your destiny, your ace of pentacles, your blessing from the universe. Mm, mm, mm. Hmm. Spirit, what's this you can learn a lot from a dummy? <laughs> Oops. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody put in some work. And they go, listen. Yes, they did to create an ending for you, for your destiny. Mm -hmm. Eight of Wands, I can't make it up. They sent it. They sent it. They sent it. Yes, they did. Spirit, what's this message? Spirit, what's the message here, please? And thank you. You can learn a lot from a dummy. We got the King of Swords. 
the three of cups, <laughs> the eight of swords, and the fucking magician. Mm, mm, mm. Three, of pen, three of cups, eight of swords, confusion, trapped in your mind. The magician, eight of pentacles. So it looks like a, some people possibly pitched in together to do this. Yep, we got the king of swords here. Look, it was no, it was of no avail. It didn't work. That's why. That's why this person is confused, and now they're trapped in their head, and all they can think about is what they did. You know what I'm saying? They know that they collaborated. Mm-hmm. They trapped in their head. Somebody's learned a hard ass lesson. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this King of Swords is learning a hard, very, very valuable lesson. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, the lovers about who they choose. Who they choose. Yeah, King of Wands making choices out of lust and material gain and wealth. You know what I'm saying? Never really uh, a loving connection. Somebody's learned a lesson about, about who they choose as a partner. Who they, yeah. Somebody could be dealing with the Sagittarius as well. Picking that up on here. Mm, we got family and the Seven of Swords. Look at that. It didn't work. Somebody aligned himself with, mm -hmm, with somebody that was, listen, tower in reverse. Unreconcilable differences. Look at that. Six of Pentacles. Four Cups. Rejection. Somebody healing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they wanted to call the tower. Mm-hmm. By breadcrumbing somebody, rejecting someone. Yeah. Oh, look at this, y'all. I can't make it up. Breadcrumbing. Rejection. Making someone feel isolated. You know, alone. Someone had to heal on their own. Listen, the devil. Look at that. Eight of Wands and the devil. What's behind him again? Oh, the king of wands and the emperor. Hmm. The spirit, what's going on here? Ooh, okay, just turn around in my hand. Queen of Pentacles and the king of... I mean, the queen of Pentacles and the queen of swords in reverse. Hmm. I told you it was three people, so it was a queen... So it was a king of swords, a queen of swords, and a queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles and the king and the queen of swords are both in reverse. So these so these people um, are out of alignment, for one. They are not learning lessons. They're not learning any kind of life lessons. They don't know how to take care of themselves or or their environment, all right? They're not they're not um prospering in that financial area. They possibly ain't got no daggone jobs. One of them like to fight. They feel like if they, they fight everybody and bully people that they can get their way. You know what I'm saying? And this other one, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, pretends to be somebody nurturing. This could be somebody's mama. Okay? That's what I'm picking up. This could be somebody's mother. And this Queen of Pentacles energy. Because as soon as I said nurturing, that's in the media. It was like somebody's mama that, that uh, hate on them. You hear me? Somebody's mama that could be jealous of and envious of them. And then you got this Queen of Swords in reverse, uh, air sign. This is somebody that likes to fight. All right, this is somebody that don't learn their lessons. Mm -mm. This is somebody that likes to control people with their tongue and with their physical ability. They didn't have they emotionally they 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 gone. All right. Yep. And they, then you got the King of Swords, who I feel like has learned their lesson. You can learn a lot from a dummy. I feel like this person, because they, they're the only one that's still in the upright. We got the king of wands and the emperor. King of wands. Very passionate emperor wanting to control shit. Somebody wanted to be in control. That's what it is. Somebody wanted to be in control of this nine of pentacles. You hear me? And this family dynamic. They wanted to be in control. So how best to control them, to knock them off their throne, to make them feel left out and rejected so they won't know their worth. But that did not work, right, spirit? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. All right, let me get out of here because I really spent a lot of time on this one. <laughs> All right. Shall we? Next, we got Know Your Worth. It's all tying together now, right? <laughs> what are we going to use for Know Your Worth, spirit? Okay. Uh, uh, what we got here? We 
we're gonna go with this one. We're gonna go with my Sido Machete deck. No real worth. Could be talking to a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You could know a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You could have Taurus Virgo or Capricorn somewhere in your chart. So this should resonate with everybody. <laughs> Some way, shape, or form. Spirit, what's this message? Okay, know your worth. Six of Pentacles. That's right. Mm, somebody tried to break from you. Mm -hmm. You could feel like you're not getting paid your worth, you know. Or like I said, somebody tried to devalue you. Try to lower your value. Try to offer you... Uh, the uh, bare minimum I'm hearing. You know what I'm saying? Hoping that, you know, that you would accept it. That's what I'm hearing. So basically, they tested. What's this know your worth? We got the Six of Cups, your past, the Eight of Swords, somebody trapped, the Eight of Pentacles, putting in a lot of work, and we got the Knight of Cups. So this could be a Knight of Cups from your past. That felt like that they could um, give you the bare minimum, you know, to to what this is what this person was doing. They were gaslighting you. They were um, trying to feed you an illusion of, you know, happy family and all this, you know, great things and things, you know, you know, becoming well and everybody's happy and all this good shit. But deep inside, this was a this was a, a way for them to keep you trapped and in an illusion you hear me and this is somebody that put in a lot of work doing this and, and i'm gonna tell you how they do it okay it's like they come towards you and they, they act like they're your friend you know what i'm saying they act like you know y'all are good and y'all gonna build together you know build a relationship if in, if not anything else you know what i'm saying they, that could be platonic okay and then this person will pull back their energy and that keeps you confused like what's going on I thought we were supposed to be going in this direction. And then when you start to pull back, here they come again. So it was this give and pull, push and pull energy of spirit. Thank you. Spirit said use these. Hey, that's what I'm picking up, okay? Knight of Cups, somebody that's very immature, or this could be somebody that's younger than you, take it how it resonates, okay? Or you could be younger than this person. I don't know, Okay. Spirit, what's going on here with Know Your Worth? Okay, what's this message? Oh, that's too many. That's way too many, but what's in here? Huh. <laughs> Spirit, let's get this. Shuffle this again. Yep, somebody tried to keep you trapped by breadcrumbing you, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm telling you, somebody was giving out the bare minimum. Somebody was like, it was like this person would only communicate with you when it, when it was necessary. You know when it's necessary, right? 2323, when they want something, when they need something, when they need your energy. Mm, when they need your uplifting spirit, right, right, right. When they're feeling lonely and ain't nobody, you know, paying them no attention, oh, I'll go see what such and such is doing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Runner. Yep, want you to chase them, I told you. I told you to keep you trapped, to keep you, oh, trying to, and you get more and you get more and they pull away and they come in and they pull away, you know what I'm saying? And you keep trying to figure out what's going to keep them you know, steady in the relationship that, you know, finally get on track with something. It's like you keep trying to convince somebody you're worthy. Uh-uh, baby, know your worth. Spirit, what's this message? Keep the faith busy and distracted. Mm. You know your worth. You know your worth. This person could always act, act like they're busy and distracted. Mm -hmm. Look, Spirit said, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What y'all gonna do? You gonna stay on this treadmill with this person or what? What's gonna happen, Spirit? What's going on, my collective? Just know your worth. Please and thank you.
union with a generous offer. So this could be about a union. You could be in a relationship with this person. Hmm. Maybe this person keeps promising you a union. You know, and you keep the faith. You keep holding on. You keep chasing every time you get... You know, you feel like, you know, things are finally, you overcome a, a certain hurdle and now y'all can move forward. The damn goalpost moves up again. This person throws some other shit in your way talking about, oh, this, you got to do this too. You know, it's like constantly trying to prove yourself, you know. That's the energy I'm picking up. Know your worth. This is, this is just, I was going to say a scared running child, and they are a runner. This is somebody that's very immature. This is possibly somebody that um, watched this go on in their in their uh, childhood with their own parents and other relationships around them. You know what I'm saying? Somebody gave somebody some bad advice. Well, that's that epiphany. That somebody finding that out. Hmm. Somebody finding that out. Look. Chaser. Wow. Apology. Hmm. Somebody about to find out your worth. Mm -hmm. Cause you're gonna stop running behind him. You're gonna stop chasing him. Yeah. What we got? Listen, you're coming to a crossroads. You already there. That's where the epiphanies come from. You're like, hold up. This person ain't never really gonna commit to me. Every time I, you know, overcome one obstacle with this person, they put up another one. It's like I got to go through these, this training obstacle to get to that carrot way down the other end. And that carrot could be a carrot, four or five carrot ring. That's what I'm talking about. You heard me? So just, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. And maybe if, if that's what you're vying for just to get that ring, then you don't know your worth. Let me just put it out there. And hence, that's why people do this. Because you are willing to hold on because you want to get that carrot at the end. You hear me? So you really don't know your worth if that's why. Because otherwise, this one here, you kick this one to the straight to the curb. Mm -hmm. Back to the streets. Back to the streets. Put them back in the pond. That fish is too small. You know, in some states, if you can, if a, if a fish is too small, you got to put it back. You can't catch it. You can't keep it. <laughs> That's the universe said, listen, that's small. That no, That's not the one. Spirit, what's this message? Counseling and therapy. Somebody could need counseling and therapy. Yep, because an important conversation needs to be had. Mm-hmm. With you. Never mind the other person, because once you learn how to love yourself, the other person ain't got nothing on you. They can't even come in your, in your aura, in your breathing space. Let alone hold your attention. Come on now, that first time they run off, you will let their ass keep going. <laughs> the first time they run off and one thing you got chasing, you shut the door, boom, look. What, what our mother used to tell you, come in, keep running out that door, you'll keep your ass in the house, you'll keep your ass outside. Ain't nobody going to say no revolving door. Look, and that's a message from spirit. Speak your truth. Know your worth. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> Important conversation. All right, let's keep it moving. We got one more here. Return to the sender. Ooh, 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 ooh. Talking to a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Take it how it resonates. You could be dealing with one, okay? You could know one. You could have something in your chart. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what y'all be doing. Return to set the lights here. This one we want spirit. Huh. <laughs> I got options now, boy. This this any one of these decks can tell us tell us what this is. I'm just trying to see which one I want to use, which one I want to deal with. Yeah. Return to sender. Let's see. All right, I chose you, Spirit. Let's do it. What's the message? What is this return to send the Spirit? <laughs> what is this return to send the week? Got an idea? We need a confirmation. <laughs> we got an idea, but we need a confirmation. What's this return to send the 
these are things here. Oh, damn it. Who we got the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> we got the Five of Swords. <laughs> we got the Strength in Reverse. Ooh, we. We got the Nine of Pentacles. And then we got the Six of Pentacles. Ooh, we. In Reverse. Uh, the Lovers. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, some shit done changed. All that, all that rah, rah, rah. It's what. <laughs> <laughs> All that rah, rah, rah. What I'm going to do, how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to make you pay. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> the strength card in reverse. Somebody wasn't, um, somebody didn't use their intuition. Somebody didn't. Um, we got the nine of pentacles. Independent, six of, six of pentacles in reverse. Mm, yeah, you ain't taking no wooden nickels. <laughs> You're not dealing with anybody that's going to be breadcrumbing you. Or, um, you know, trying to make you feel less than or, you know, try to, you know, just feed you, you know, bullshit. And, uh -oh. I feel like somebody was trying to block something for you. See, with the Wheel of Fortune, it's in the upright. So this is, this is a change in plans. And it was quickly, instantly. You know what I'm saying? It, it came... Um, on, they, they weren't prepared. They weren't ready. With the who shit, look, spirit, they weren't ready. <laughs> they weren't ready. They weren't ready. They weren't ready. Nah, they wasn't ready. They wasn't ready. Somebody thought that they was going to be able to come in and play you, you know. Mm -mm. And you, I mean, you're in the Nine of Pentacles, so what the... F and here they come with six. Like, I thought they was going to be able to just... Feed your little... You got more than them. Oh, my battery's dying. Let's get on with this. What's this return to the center? I mean, and I'm not saying that you have more than them, you know, on a financial kind of level. I mean, like, you're independent. You take care of yourself. You understand what I'm saying? You know how to pay your own bills and, you know, shit like that. And make your own money. You don't need them. You know what I'm saying? And then they want to come in and break from you? Like... They, so they thought, they thought, yeah, that's what they thought. Okay, y'all, let's put it down in here, yo. What's this? How much I got? Oh, jeez. Okay, spirit. Return to sender. Yeah, whatever they was doing, it did not work. It didn't work. It didn't work. If this cuts off, y'all, deuces. Okay, spirit. I'm going to post it. What we got here? Two of cups. A choice, yes. Somebody thought they were going to come in. And possibly trying to, oh, they was they were going to come in as as somebody that was loving and caring that wanted to share with you, this, you know, to build with you. But but it but they were doing something in the background. They, what's this? Experience. Somebody got caught off guard for sure. And you was minding your business. You had nothing to do with it. All you know why? Because you rejected this this offer. You rejected uh, allowing them to come in and just you know take from you and not give anything back. That's where this is. This is why now that feeling is coming back. Whatever they tried to do to make you feel, that's going back to them. So I'm assuming that this is somebody that's done this in the past. Okay, nine of cups. I'm telling you, love yourself. See, had you been in that energy of. Um, low self-esteem and low self-worth, you would take that, that little bit that they was offering because you feel like the outside validates you. But you know better because you put in the work. You planted healthy seeds in your life. You love yourself. Okay? Thank you, Spirit. What's this message? And so their actions, you know, it didn't happen. Look, two of pentacles. Yeah, this is how they feel now. Now they're confused and off balance. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's what they wanted for you. Mm -hmm. They did something too quickly. You've healed. See, once you healed and you you're not in that self know that self know energy, all that that trying to you know manipulate your emotions and your feelings and how people feel about you and gossiping and all that shit, it don't work because who do you depend on? Self. You don't rely on outside sources. You rely on one source. So if that source is out, then you're fucked. But that source ain't never going nowhere. But all this out here, temporary. Shit you cannot take with you. You hear me? Nothing. When, ooh, what did I, I heard something earlier about, um, 
oh, I think I posted something about you can't take, only thing you can take with you when you leave this world is what you did, what you put out, what you put into this world. That's the only thing you can take with you is your integrity. Not even that, you know what I'm saying. That's all you get to take. It's what you've done, what you put into the world. You can't take nothing that you earned in the world. Nothing. Ain't that something to think about? Hmm? Ain't that something to think about? What we got here? Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Somebody may want to come in and look. Seven of Swords. They, yeah. Mm -hmm. Does somebody still maybe even try to come in and offer you a pinnacle again? But this is only just to steal from you because they see you sitting in the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, because what they've been doing in the past, that shit's backfiring. Now they're starting to feel, you know, the um, the energy that they wanted you to feel is coming back. Whatever it was that they sent, you know, because we don't even know that. All we know is something's being sent back. Only y'all know that. I don't know. All right? But somebody tried to come in and thought they was going to try to, like, breadcrumb you, right? They thought they were going to come in with that one pinnacle and make you believe that they had a whole bunch more that they wanted to offer you. They was just coming to steal yours. They showed a big old bright uh, uh, whatever and made to make you think that they were coming in and they were going to offer you the whole bag that they had down the street in, the, in their trunk. It's down there. I got it. I got it. You know, just the money first. Hmm. Money first. Money first, and I'll be right back. I'm going to go get it. Come on, spirit. What's this message? Hmm. They see your pinnacle. They're trying to come in with a fake pinnacle, pretend they got pinnacles too, only to get your pinnacles. Look at that, man. Listen, I know y'all. Y'all, Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Been there, done it. <laughs> Put the money under the door. <laughs> It was this message. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, work. Putting in that work. Queen of Cups. Loving, caring, nurturing energy. Yes. You continue. You keep doing what you're doing. Stay in your energy. Page of Wands. Queen of Wands. Yes. Judgment. I absolutely. Mm-hmm. From somebody from your past. From folks from your past. Yep. No more. No more of that conflict and confusion. They feeling that. They can't get back in your energy no more. I, right, Spirit? Am I right about that? They can't. And that's... And that's that's the return to sender. Yep. Being fucked up because, damn, it didn't work this time. Now what am I going to do? Now how am I going to get that, that juice I needed? Because I damn sure ain't worked on myself. I can't even feed myself anything because I'm empty. You hear me? Spirit, what's this message? Who can I go steal from now? Queen of Wands. In judgment. Listen, it's a wrap. No more. Not here. <laughs> Queen of Swords, I know, I know what you're up to. I know what you're up to. And we're prepared for you this time. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll see y'all. 3828. All right. Deuces. <laughs>